The South Florida Bulls do not back down from a challenge. They are a family, full of support from outside and within. They know that being a bull is not about the short term or even a season. Being a bull is for life, and it's about life. Knowing in the end, the true colors shine through. One, two, three, two, three, two, three. As the Sun Dome energizes for another game, South Florida is intent on showcasing their improvement, born of a compete level that continues to rise. Well, it's a team that's showing progress. They may not show it on the scoreboard, but when I look as an old coach at the things that Mur Murray Barto is trying to do with this team, the way he's holding them accountable on both ends of the floor, uh, this is a team that is making progress. Wow, what's it? That's deep. They have size and experience at the point. That's Geno Thorpe. They're trying to find an identity on both sides of the floor. Mike Bibby, the freshman, slowing it down and finding Thorpe. That's a good find on the wing. And there's Guerrero on the backdoor cut. I say that, and yet that's marvelous passing. The ball never went on the deck. Another good pass, and Guerrero with the left. Room service. Little bits and pieces that are starting to turn around for this team. Ziegler, nice up and under move. There's De Silva. Ruben Guerrero wowed them with his fifth double-double in a season-high 16. Not enough for a win against Tulsa, but the Bulls competed hard. The American Conference on ESPN. It never feels like winter in Tampa. Another gorgeous day near the Bay. We are inside the Sun Dome for a matchup between two teams who have been tested in many ways this year. USF hosting Connecticut. Luis Santos corrals it. Santos with another opportunity. And he finally puts it home. That's this great effort on the offensive glass. Lake Fitz pulls the trigger and knocks down the three. South Florida much better. Geno Thorpe had a career-high nine assists, and the unselfish Bulls shared the ball well. It not only helped them close the gap from a double-digit deficit, but helped them take the lead over the Huskies in the second half. It's a Thorpe back and forth, and Gino Thorpe connects from long distance. Back and forth, UConn and South Florida go. Ultimately, momentum's pendulum swung in favor of UConn. Despite improvement from the Bulls under both baskets, they created offense and fought hard defensively underneath. Troy Holston had his 20th career double-double. As a team, they knew it was on them to now create wins. Freshman Michael Bibby continued to learn lessons, hitting four times from behind the arc, finishing with 14 points. And he would keep his hot hand going as the Bulls traveled to Cincinnati to take on the conference leader. The Bearcats ranked 19th in the country. Kick to the corner, Bob Wade for three, and he knocks it down. That's a big one for USF to tie it at 10. Cincinnati has made six of its last eight. Dibby hits a much needed three for USF. Holston gives it into the hands of Bibby with two to shoot, has to heave it, and nails it. Bibby was reaping the benefits of his hard work and practice. At a very difficult venue, he had 17 points, 11 in the first half and the Bulls gained valuable experience against a team without a conference loss. Step by step, USF continues to get better, showing national primetime audiences what they can do if they continue to work and grind, knowing there is no substitute for sweat. <laughs>